Welcome back, friends, and welcome to episode two of Divinity Original Sin 2, the playthrough here on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, so, in the last episode, we were on a boat, the boat got, uh, crushed by a big Kraken thingy, and we washed up on shore here on Fort Joy, which is where we were headed anyways. Uh, Junk. but, we were not processed, so we are kind of, did I just eat a shell? I'm going to see if I can combine this with my mortar and pestle to grind up into potentially something more useful. Nope. It does nothing. Uh, let's just... Where'd that shell go? I don't want that stupid shell. I leave you here. Yeah, so we are on Fort Joy. We've Rocket got our first rest. waypoint. To some tyrant ty this won't be of any use. We're just going to start clearing our way. Through Fort Joy. There's a bowstring. I'll take that. That's 10 gold. What's up, small child? Mind if I rob you? Because I'm gonna. Give me that water balloon. Hello. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to elves. Rude. Let's see. What the fuck is our character's name? Sibel. Sibyl. I don't know how that's pronounced. I think I'm just going to pronounce it Sibyl, because... Sibyle. Man, Sibyl. Whatever. Tell him it's lizards he ought to worry about in his own kind besides. Paul told me elves and lizards and dwarves bring bad guys. Void guys. That's right, isn't it? Tell him it's believed that Source attracts Void Woken, but that all the races use Source. I guess I'm a sorcerer too. That's why I'm here, right? And you too? Yup. The child screws up his face and looks at you hard. He lifts his mirror up to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. Mm hmm. I don't see any Source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Uh, tell the child he should run along. It's not safe out here. Uh, sure. Take your leave. I already robbed you. Thanks, child. Thanks for the water balloon. Alright. Whisperwood. That's useful stuff. Now, if you'll recall, in the last episode, we got a recipe for Whisperwood. So what we can do... It's combine whisper wood with empty flasks and make small magic armor potions, which is useful. We can also take these penny bun mushrooms that we've been collecting and combine them to make minor healing potions. Again, very useful. Uh, we got some void woken on the beach. Give me those leather scraps. Oh dear. There's the same beast that sank our ship. I uh, kind of failed to sneak sure. there. That's fine. Uh, so we are going to backstab uh, you. We're going to backstab you again. We're going to cast Chameleon Cloak to go invisible. And hopefully that should make them not able to do anything on their turn. Stab you. Come up here and stab you. And we'll just end turn. We're going to take a little damage, but that is totes fine. Oh! He actually used a CC ability on his battery gram, which is uh, slightly irritating, but not really a big deal. We have a skill here called Flurry. That does three attacks instead of two. I think. Huh. So I think if you have an awkward amount of ability points left. Well, you actually steal health, don't you? You little shit. So if you have like three AP left, rather than doing an auto attack, you can spend three AP on Flurry to do slightly more damage. Let's go ahead and rest. Magister Jalen from the ship. Oh. I would have chosen a swifter death for him myself. 
Got a resurrection scroll. Those are going to be very, very useful when your characters die. The only way to get them back to life is to use resurrection scrolls. And they are very expensive to buy from vendors. So definitely good thing to have. And I just realized we actually leveled up at the end of the last episode. So why don't we spend some points? Um, so we could put more points into finesse to do more damage. We could put some points into memory to get more memory slots. That way we can use more uh, magical skills. Wits for crit damage, constitution for health, strength and intelligence are the ones we're not going to be using really at all. But we actually have another slot opened up. So we can take adrenaline there. And I think we're going to put two points in memory and two points in wits. Oh. Let's put four points in wits. Having wits is going to help us find hidden objects hidden around the world, like buried treasure chests, that kind of thing. So it's going to be useful to have a few early points in that. And we now have two additional memory slots once we steal some spell books in the near future. Uh, that's going to be useful to be able to slot those immediately. And maybe we had two levels and I just didn't notice. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. So we can put more points into Scoundrel, but I don't think that would be super important right now. We could put more points into Polymorph. I don't think we need that right now. Warfare is going to be some skills that we want to have. So we're going to put two into Warfare, and Warfare is also going to increase our damage. So good synergy there. And I think we're going to take uh, another point into Thievery. That's going to allow us to steal more from an individual target. You can only pickpocket a target once and never again. So that's going to increase the amount that we can actually pickpocket from them. Which is good. Neep, neep, neep. Okay. This little squirrel guy is going to follow us around. If you have Pet Pal, he has kind of a, a storyline. But it's kind of adorable. It's a little undead cat with a squirrel riding on his back. Um, but as we don't have Pet Pal, we're not going to be able to enjoy his storyline very much. The Red Prince, one of the playable characters. Let's say hi to him. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Uh, Sybil, order the lizard to turn around. You're looking for a dreamer called Stingtail. Does he know a uh, kinsman by that the name? The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. Mm -hmm. No, I do not. Then again, I don't belong to the House of Dreams. I'm a prince of the House of War. A house you seem to be all too familiar with. Judging by that rather fetching mark on your cheek. Not an acknowledgement as and say you seek to get rid of your scar. Interesting. Um, sure. I see. Hence your search for a dreamer. For the dreamer, I suppose. The, the one that bound you to your master. We are being naughty, aren't we? You've clearly relinquished your duties by running away from your rightful owner. A crime punishable by death. Draw your needle. I am wickedly as it glistens in the sun. You know, I think I've heard of you. The assassin with the needle. I'd much rather have one such as you for an ally, not an adversary. After all, you did come back for me and all those others on a sinking ship. I did. What do you say we bury the hatchet, you and I? For now, at least. <laughs> um. So, I am going to kill him right now. Mainly because he has resurrection scrolls that I want. Um, also because he is not a companion that I actually want to take with me. I want to take uh, the human lady camp. Uh, the human lady, I can't remember her name. So say no. Tell him I'd rather just kill him. I see. Well, I had rather you didn't. I'd rather continue to contemplate the sea and see you continue along your merry way. Wouldn't that be preferable? Shake your head, tell him to prepare himself. The Red Prince sighs as he looks at you with a certain sadness. 
such beauty, such stupidity, such a pity. Oh, lovely alliteration. Hopefully we can take him. I think we're going to be able to. So we're going to backstab behind him. Stab again. We're going to go for Flesh Sacrifice to get another AP. One more attack, and we're going to turn him into a chicken. But, spoiler alert, uh, what's happening right now, the whole killing him for his Resurrection Scrolls thing, he's not actually dead, okay? He will come back in Act 3. Um, so, much as it may look as though he is dead, he is just knocked out. So don't think I'm that bad of a person, alright? So we got a Resurrection Scroll from that, a backpack, some weapons and armor we can sell and some really shitty armor that we can sell. And I have too much carry weight shit. That means we are gonna need two. Eight pounds over, let's drop that. And that, we'll drop those two shields. We don't need them on currently. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of this big ass barrel that we're carrying around ASAP. So we're just going to try and beeline it for Fort Joy. I want to get to a... a cat. <laughs> Beauteous creature. Almost as <laughs> graceful as I am. <laughs> Yay, I found a black cat. There's a quest to uh, save it. Which we will be doing. But I want to get to a... Uh, what the fuck are they called? Waypoints. That's the word I'm looking for. I want to get to a waypoint so that I can drop this barrel. And then anytime I need to upgrade a new weapon with poison damage... We can just go back to that waypoint, use the ooze barrel, and then leave it on the ground. So that way I'm not having to carry around this heavy-ass barrel all the time. That's the plan. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our god Wogan speaks. Fuck you, Dallas. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape from Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. Mm. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. Mm. Let's see. We got a level 8 and a level 8. There is absolutely no way that we want to fight these guys right now. We would be absolutely crushed in a single blow. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Uh, so now we're, we're going to make ourselves small. And hope we don't get noticed, because... Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop. And your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Mm. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. All right. So, what yeah, these people are scumbags. This is a we'll be needed elsewhere. perfect example of why the Magisters are scumbags. If you're not with them, you're against them, and it is very hard to be with them. So we're going to take Atsua's leg. We can eat that and potentially gain some of her memories. Pardon me. Where's that leg? Eat! A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. Interesting. Verdas. I don't know who Verdas is, but we'll try and remember that name and see if it uh, comes into play later. Let's hang on to these backpacks. We can use them for sorting out our inventory later on. And I think that gave us a quest. Yeah, it was one of these. Fuck it. I don't want to go through my whole quest log. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. So let's keep moving. Hey. Dear one, help me teach this beast. He must respect. Hmm. Respect? Huh. 
Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you gotta make it so hard? Hey, what's up, Steph? How you doing, player? Thanks for coming by the stream. An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. So I'm going to take a step back so that they'll fight. If they fight, I can hop in and help kill the guys and get XP from it, which is something I want to do. I ain't going to say it again. Pay what you owe. No, never. If you want her, you'll have to get through me first. You elves always want to do it the hard way, don't you? <laughs> Hot. All right. Let's get in combat so we can get XP for this fight. Tell me about this game, Steph. This is a turn-based... It's an interesting game. It's kind of like Skyrim meets Diablo 3 meets... I don't even know how to describe the turn-based aspect of it, but it's, uh, it's a very cool game. It's one of the best RP games I've played in a long, long time. I like it a lot. And let's turn this guy into a chicken. I'm ready. And yeah. Let's get another action point. Why didn't that do damage? I didn't take any damage from that. That's weird. Oh. Character gains twisted power by sacrificing their own body. I lost constitution for that? I don't understand why that didn't do direct damage. But I'm not going to worry about it. We'll figure out how that skill works exactly in time. Uh, we can use Adrenaline now to give ourselves extra action points. So we are like the master of action points up in this bitch. You're tenderizing the chicken, LMAO. Exactly. Exactly. I'm putting holes in it to, uh, to put in cloves of garlic. But yeah, Steph, it's a, it's a very interesting game. I've done a full playthrough of it on my... Almost a full play, playthrough of it on my own over the past three weeks. And uh, I liked it so much, I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, you did miss the first hour, sort of the introduction of the game, but I will have that VOD up on YouTube tomorrow. So if you are wanting to watch the whole playthrough and get the full storyline, this will all be going up on YouTube in like roughly one hour... Follow me uh, VODs. more of them trouble us. Got anything that I want to buy? No. I will sell you some shit, though. Start to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, you want a feather? Sure. Yeah, give me that ten gold. Cool. I have an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. There is a safe place. All right, so we'll go meet up with her later on. We've got some gold. Got a nice one-handed mace, but we are required to use daggers, so that's just going to be vendor food. Uh, knife ears are cool. Fuck yeah, they are. You're tenderizing the chicken, Homeo. It certainly looks gorgeous. Oh, it's an absolutely gorgeous game. It's super, super fun. I was a little hesitant to stream it just because it's so slow paced. I wasn't sure it would stream well, but at the end of the day, I was like, fuck it. People who like it can watch. If somebody doesn't like it, they don't have to watch. This uh, Elodi girl sounds very similar to Car Carlia from Thieves Guild. Interesting. I'd ever play. Oh, Thieves Guild from Skyrim. Yeah. Hey, it could be the same voice actress. You, you never know. These people tend to run in. Pretty small packs, I'd imagine. Let's get our healing potions. Right, let's auto sort this shit. Get our healing potions on our bar so we know what we have available to us. Get some scrolls just in case we need them. Grenades. Probably won't be using those, just selling them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, here is. The statue that I was trying to get to, so I'm going to drop my ooze barrel here. 
and we'll just come back here as needed. Avatar of the Seven Gods. Squint and notice a button you hadn't seen before. Press its worn surface. I fucking just got here. How could I have not noticed it before? You hear a strange sound, <laughs> like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. Okay. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. A low, resonant vibration hums somewhere deep within you. Your knees buckle. The hum grows louder. The world tilts and fades. Okay, so we've unlocked this waypoint. Let's get rid of this big-ass poison barrel. Now we can come back and use this as we wish. Uh, I think it's the reason we were able to discover that hatch is because we put those four points into wits back on the beach. If we hadn't done that, there is an NPC you have to talk to that will inform you that there is a button there. And then that dialogue option opens up. But let's go back. Let's start backtracking. Let's go back to the beach. Get all the things and stuff here that we want to get and see and do. And then we'll continue on in that town once we are more prepared. Let's take those tongs. They're worth 31 gold. Always worth picking up, especially in the early game. Let's see. I mean, some people stream card games, lol. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. I've heard the voice actress for my waifu Serena in a few games. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine that there's a lot of different voice actors and actresses. I mean, there's probably only, like, maybe a couple hundred in the country, and they all kind of get hired for the same jobs. I don't know that, I just suspect that. I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Okay. Thanks, little girl. Long branch worth anything? No. Alright, so we're just gonna start exploring the whole beach. There's lots of little goodies that we can find around here, I'm sure. I know that there's a buried chest around here somewhere, uh, and hopefully our wits is going to be high enough to reveal that. But we are going to need a shovel to dig up buried chests for the whole playthrough of the game, and I do believe there's a shovel right here. So let's get that. A skull. Sure. Raw meat. I'll take that bedroll, just because they're worth 20 gold. Let's see if we can grind up that little skull into bone dust and make it more valuable. Oh, shit! We just turned a 10 gold bird skull into 150 gold worth of bone dust. Now that's playing with your thinking cap on. Let me tell you what. What's this? Nice! That's what I was trying to find. Let's go ahead and dig that up. So you know Serena, right? The Skyrim character, her voice is also in The Last of Us, and I'm proud that Kay spotted it, LOL, that I spotted it, lol. Yeah, I am familiar with the character. It's been a while since I did a Skyrim playthrough, but I do somewhat recall. Nice, we got a chest armor upgrade. Got a little bit of magic armor and some more physical armor. It's a little bit less saucy than what we were wearing, but hey, whatever. And a pretty good bow that we will uh, be able to sell to the vendor for a tidy little profit. Is this something over here? Oh. Oh, look at that. A well-worn chest. You find something new every playthrough, I tell you what. I never knew that was there. Cool. I tried so many times to fix that, Kay. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't working with you. That's okay. I knew what you meant. It's a nifty little this passage is. over here. <clears throat> now, we already have an ooze barrel, so we don't need that one. But this is Fane from the ship, so let's say hi to Fane. See the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sat. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Her skeletal fingers reached down and gripped the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, 
letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Uh, ask what he's doing? Ah, uh, tell him to get the hell away from that body. No! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. <laughs> buoyant, because we didn't drown. Ask him what is what his business is with that body. By its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Um... Inquire about his skull? You've never seen one carved like that? Carved? Please. You hardly think I am one of your breed, do you? You have never seen anything like it because you have never met anyone like me. Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. Huh. Hey, Wolfie, I've got two bits of good news. I guess somebody doesn't know about uh, necrophilia. <laughs> uh, what are your bits of good news, sir? Do share. Indeed. No one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather absent, at least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. Hey, I know where that is. Um, this is, like the Red Prince, somebody that we don't want in our party, so we are going to kill him. We're going to knock him out and take his stuff. Get a little XP. Uh, yes, yes. Do feel f by which I mean shout loudly. I do not want you sneaking up on me again. Okay. So we're going to take out Fane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, time to fight, bitch. We should get some good resurrection scrolls from this. more AP. Oh, damn it, I fucked it up. I ran out of AP before I used adrenaline. That's fine. We can take a hit. Oh! He healed for a fuck ton. Alright, you butthole. What if I turn you into a chicken? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Kick him in the bony throat, lol. That's the plan. Ooh, I'm so slow. Ooh. Oh, he's standing in poison because he's an undead, and that heals him. What a clever boy. Alright, let's go all out. This is gonna hurt. Oh, it hurt a lot. But he's on fire, so he's gonna die. If he doesn't fucking kill me. <sighs> oh my god! He fucking killed me! You son of a bitch, Fane! Oh my god, alright. Guess we'll go back to our last load. Damn it. Alright, and back to Fane. The little bitch. I'm not even gonna talk to him this time, I'm just gonna kill his ass. Alright, this time we're gonna quick save. Because fuck this guy. And let's just go ham. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it like that. Let's get behind him. Go for another backstab. Flesh sacrifice. Uh, adrenaline. And we could probably kill him with one attack, but let's just play it safe and go for chicken. Holy crap, I've gotten rusty at horizontal screen typing. I believe it. Horizontal screen typing is the worst. Stab of the chicken. 
All right. That is how it should have gone. I have to remember that I am on tactician mode, and I do have to be extra careful, especially at the start of the game. Got a res scroll, fireball scroll, another backpack. Uh, some gloves and boots with no stats. And a helmet with no stats. Well, I mean, these things don't have any stats, but we can put them on to be less, uh, a little bit less saucy. Um, I kind of like her Japanese hairdo. We're going to turn the helmet off. This body has... Ooh! Well, those are an actual upgrade. Plus two armor. I shall take that. Gladly. We can't get down here until we get some movement skills or the gloves of teleportation. Toy crossbow, 110 gold, and our first lock pick. Very useful. Hey, 300 gold just for coming up here. Cool. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding Got anything to sell? and trembling. You have a lockpick, but nah. Actually, do you have any cash? No, you don't have any cash either. Um, making a racket. Be the silent, child. Crescendo into Wales. She doesn't <laughs> lift her head. <laughs> hey, lady. Where is she? You go with us. Who are you? Are you from the shelter? She says nothing of another. Fire alas! She is so late. Hmm. Was well, this the lady that they were trying? The lady who got exploded was trying to help escape? I'm not sure. You got any cash? You got 42 gold. Let's sell you some garbage. Here, take all these shirts that I don't want. And all these pants that I don't want. And these wizard robes that I don't want. And these gloves and these boots that... Oh! Those have physical armor on them. I want those. Let's get rid of these books. Oh, shit. I sold way too much. That's weird. She only has 13 gold in her inventory, but she has like 42 gold. What is happening? What the fuck? She has gold that you can't trade for. Okay, dude, that's fine. Sure. Hey, what's up, Maria? How are you? Stubbleheart. Oh man, the lecture building will always be my favorite farm. Interesting choice for a farm. I guess that room with all the all the students in it is probably pretty good. All right, Sybil, demand to know who has her so rattled. It would be a lizard, wouldn't it? Yes, a Tusa. She is a lizard. She is a magister, but she is kind. She says there are many magisters who do not agree with the bishop. She says they bring us to safety. But a Tusa is overdue. She promises to come at noon. We are afraid to stay, afraid to leave. Um. Uh, I was never one to trust magisters. She does not believe in this place, in their bishop. She will come, and she will take us away from here. Oh, so Atusa was the one that got exploded, so we can tell her about the bad news. That her I ticket out of here is see. dead. I see. We hope for nothing then. We wait for nothing. I like to be alone now. Well, that's sad. I can kill for 200k echoes in a quick run, and it's usually very fast. Nice. That's cool. Let's see if there's anything here we can steal. I see a potion. Let's grab that. I see a scroll. Let's grab that. And that's probably enough. I doubt she has anything else particularly valuable here. Grab some whisper wood. Doing okay. Family went out of town, so I have to take care of the doggos. Oh, nice. Give them a boop on the snoot for me. Now, there is a fight down here that we could do. Some void turtles. But I kind of want to get my uh, 
companion partner before we start to do any serious fights. So we'll come back here in a little bit once we have our companion and do that. BRB, okay. No problem. <clears throat> Is there anything else on the beach that we have not explored? So we did that. Uh, we're pretty much clear on the beach. There is a chest up here, some stuff up here that we can get, but we need to get the gloves of teleportation before we do that, which is going to be a quest in town. So let's head back to the Fort Joy Square and see about getting our partner Losa. The woman is staring intently at the statue to the divine, fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Gently call out to her, ask if she's all right. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. What? Do I have something on my face? Uh... Uh, tell her she looks possessed. Fully possessed. Not a bad stage name. But actually, it's Losa. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, ask her to explain oh, herself. It's nothing, really. It's just... I'm just a bit... Well, a bit... Hospitable? Elaborate. Like You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. Rude. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front. Friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Um... Ask her what she was hosting a second ago. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? <clears throat> I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite, either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Um... Say that the Magistress holds you in something about being a danger to yourself and society. Yeah. Yeah, same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right, though. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Uh, yeah, sounds it like does, a good idea. Right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately I've been into mm. the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Now, this is the tough part. I haven't quite figured out what I want my companion to actually do for me. It would be kind of nice to have a strength-based companion, because strength-based characters have really high carry weight, so she can kind of be my pack mule and kind of carry around the endless piles of useful and non-useful stuff that we find in the world. So I think we're going to go with a strength-based character, so somebody with more muscle. Sure. Bashing skulls, juggling them, all in a day's work. Let's get specific, though. Um... Quisitor. Dabbling the dark arts enjoys pummeling his enemies with two-handed hammer. Eh. Executioner, somebody who can deal a lot of damage up close and personal. A knight would fit the bill. So you're after somebody who can strike up close but be able deal damage from afar as well a battle mage would do or a fighter somebody who can deal plenty of damage and definitely defend themselves too so i was thinking i would want her to carry a shield because as a rogue we're going to be going invisible a lot of the time so enemies are going to only have her as a target so i kind of want to go with somebody who's got a lot of uh defense probably uses a shield and a one-handed sword so i'm guessing that's what a knight would do Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah. Well, that was easier than I thought. 
and I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. So Losa, unlike the rest of us, is not so much a sorcerer slash godwoken, but she is actually just somebody who gets possessed by demons really easily, I guess. I'm not really sure what all of her storyline's deal is yet, but it does sound interesting. Let's go ahead and give her a bedroll. Put that on your bar. And what does your equipment look like? You've got a two-handed sword right now. We're going to want to get you a one-hander and a shield ASAP. I dropped my shields on the beach, but that's fine. We don't necessarily need it this minute. We can find you a shield soon. She has encourage, which is great. That's one of the reasons I picked her. And looks like she is all warfare right now. Which means we're going to have to share warfare books at the beginning of the game, which is going to be a little bit irritating, but all in all, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We can probably give her the warfare books at the start, and then we'll fill in the warfare cracks that we want on um, Sybil as needed. Hmm. So why don't we go back and try and fight those turtles that we just avoided. Yes, that seems like a good idea. We're going to want to start getting XP as soon as possible. And it looks like nice. It does match our XP levels once she joined the party. So she has the exact same amount of XP as us. Despite the fact that she was not on our adventures with us as we were gaining XP in the past. This is a good thing. So let's come up here. She will not walk in the poison. So let's tell her to... Do you have any armor I could slap on you? Get you a little bit of physical armor? Let's give you those wizard's robes. They're not bad. Um, we'll give you the physical armor boots. Sure. Gloves that don't do anything. And that should all be fine for right now. So she's got a little bit of defense now. Let's fight some turtles. I'm back. Did you watch the new season of Stranger Things? Yes, I did, Maria. It was uh, quite by accident the reason that I didn't stream yesterday. I was fully intending to stream, do a typical Friday night stream. And uh, I started watching Stranger Things. And then I was just marathoning it. And before long, I realized that it was like almost 8 o'clock at night. And I was like, fuck, I was supposed to stream. I'm a big old dummy. So that happened. Do you have Pet Pal? What are your talents? You have Thrifty. Thrifty gives you plus one to bartering. Opportunist, that's good. We want Opportunist. And Ingenious gives you 5% bonus critical chance and 10% extra critical multiplier. That's really good, too. <coughs> I think it's about time for a fisherman's friend. Oh, I think it's about time I punched the mic by accident. All right, let's fight these turtles. Oh my god, the ending was so sad. I know! Oh. I don't want to put spoilers in the video, but... Oh, the one we lost? Oh. I was so sad. All right, let's fuck up these turtles. I promise they're not nice. They're void turtles. They just look friendly, but they're not. They're transforming. All right. Let's try and burst this one down real quick. Ow! What the fuck? Why did you explode, you stupid cunt? Ow! Eee. All right. Oh, good. That broke my stealth. The stupid fire did. Not fucking good. All right, we're gonna encourage to get a little health back and buff everyone. Why the hell did that stupid turtle explode? It's just, I could battering ram in. Fortunately, no, not enough AP for a follow-up. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Ah! 
probably should have used a healing potion, which I'm gonna do now. Why aren't they on my bar? Right, let's pull our bedroll down there. Let's get our healing potions on the bar. Let's go ahead and use that. Alright, his physical armor is gone, so we can turn him into a chicken. Alexi was cool. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. oh, so many things that just hurt so much. I liked Alexi a lot. Fuck! Why? Because I was on fire and I stepped in oil, that's why. Alright. Let's pop another healing potion. Feels bad, but whatever. We'll be fine. Ooh. The important thing is that we win the fight. So let's come over here. Stop it. Jeez. Okay, so we need to get the skill that makes it so we don't get attacks of opportunity done to us on our rogue. Because she is going to have to be repositioning a lot for the sake of doing backstabs. So we don't want to be getting attacked like that. So we're going to make that it. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Okay. We know these stu stupid ass turtles explode. Okay. Guess the game just crashed. That's fine. <laughs> we have a solution. I felt so bad for Will. I know. Ugh. It was such a good season. I felt so sad for so many characters. It was rough. Alright. Alright, computer. What's happening here? What's happening here? Steam. Come on. Load the fucking game. Load the fucking game. Really? Really? You're gonna do this to me while I'm live streaming? Um... Is Steam messing me up? Let's just end Steam services. This season was sad and emotional. Yeah. You are so right. It was so good, though. And that's what counts. There we go. All right. I fixed it. I fixed it. All right. Let me reposition task manager so I can see all my processes. <clears throat> Stop. And we're back in. Oh, and poor L. Poor L has been through so much. Uh, everybody suffered a lot this season. Alright. So. Stupid turtles explode. Now we know this. Game crashes. We know this. I think we're going to want to separate them so they don't get exploded at the same time. I'm going to position you over by that turtle. I'm going to position you right here. Mm. Wish I had dagger throw. 
Then I could finish them off from the range, but that's fine. Oh, she doesn't have Lone Wolf yet, so she's going to be substantially weaker until we can get her that skill. All right, let's bring you over here. The mist put her out. That's nice. Let's get that bedroll back on the bar. Drink a healing potion. How far is the range on that? Not very far. Let's use one AP. Not enough. Get behind the turtle. And, oh, shit. One physical armor left. So we'll use adrenaline. Get rid of that physical armor and turn you into a chicken. Nice. It only had eight episodes, why it probably be a while before the next season. I kind of got the feeling that it was like the end. Like they wrapped everything up really nicely, but I certainly don't know. Will that hit the other one? I don't think so. Hey, it did, nice. Double damage. Yeah, I kind of got the feeling that it was the end, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You're fine there. Oh, come on. Don't miss, you dummy. Alright, turtle's crippled. Ouch. Would have been really nice to kill it that turn, but that's fine. This shouldn't kill me. Definitely hurt, but didn't kill me. I'm just gonna stand back and turn and finish you off. Nice, we did it. Let's go ahead and rest. Rest, bring our party back together. All right, well that was a little tougher than I expected, but that's fine. Got a wand, a soggy diary. I do not feel like reading that. Alright. Got a chest armor, 5 and 3, versus 7 and 2. 5 and 3 is 8, 7 and 2 is 9, so 7 and 2 is actually better. So we'll leave that the way that it is. And we got a chest over here. Is that worth our one lockpick? Yeah, fuck it. What game is this? This is Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, my thievery's too low level? Come on. Oh, because I'm doing the wrong character. There we go. That fucking broke my lockpick? God damn it. Ah. Eh. Hmm. Shit. I do have a repair hammer if this breaks my weapon. So we're just gonna, we're gonna muscle our way in here. Yeah, I've been playing this game pretty much non-stop for the past three weeks. So really good RPG. All about it. And uh, now that I kind of have my bearings on the game, I wanted to share it with you guys. You know what? I think I actually have... Did I get a nice mace from that guy that we killed in town? I guess not. Huh. Could have sworn I did. That's weird. Whatever. Turtles are dead. Anything over here? 1.2 million echoes. Nice, Steph. Nice. Hey! Glad I walked over here. Glad I put those points in wits. Woohoo! 
Got a rain scroll and some gold. Okay. Nothing to write home about, but I'll take it. Some herring? I'll take that too. You never know when you're going to need a good herring. Never heard of it? Well, I will probably be playing this. Oh. She's mad because I stole her stuff. You want to fight about it? Because I'll kill you. Is there anything else on the beach here to do? I feel like we've done it all. Yeah. All right, so let's head back to Le Fort Joy. And uh, start doing other stuff. Whatever happened to that mace? Oh, there it is. It's a club. All right. We're going to put that on uh, Losa. Is that a one-handed? Five to six. One-handed sword, four to five. Nice. All right. So she's actually going to dual wield for the time being. And we've been streaming for about another hour. So that's where we're going to end episode two uh, here on the YouTubes. But if you're watching this live, of course, we will be continuing for another few hours. But uh, thank you for watching episode two. Like and subscribe on the YouTubes and stuff. And thank you all for watching. Stubble Heart. See you next time. Bye-bye.